Super Tuesday, and they say that all politics is local, right? So we wanted to bring in the leaders of major metropolises in Super Tuesday states to tell us what their constituents want to hear. We have Dallas Mayor Michael Rawlings, Little Rock Mayor Mark Stadola, and Lansing, Michigan Mayor Mark Bernaro. Great to see all of you. It's wonderful to have you. Um, look, right off the bat, we need to get to the issues here, gentlemen. And I'd like to start first with uh, Mayor Rawlings. Texas is, is a key state here. It's extremely focus point moment at the, right now. But all you hear are lots of insults flying back and forth. What do you want to hear? What's the most important thing to your state? Well, I'll tell you, uh, really what citizens want to hear is, how is this going to benefit me? Um, you know, half of, uh, city, uh, half of the population of the United States is 30,000 uh, uh, citizens and up. So uh, the urban areas are critical, and as well they are here in, the United, uh, in Texas. Uh, it's about infrastructure. Uh, it's about water. It's about policing. It's about uh, 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 home values. It's about job creation. Those are the things that are ultimately important at the at the local level. Sure. Uh, enough with the ideologues. Let's get it down to the basics and tell me why uh, I should vote for you. It's an important issue in Texas because uh, uh, we're kind of the hotbed of the Tea Party, and uh, uh, Ted Cruz is going to be seeing if he is yeah. uh, can win his home state. What's happening with the Tea well, Party? Yeah, that's uh, big. And so that's a it's a it's a big issue here. In, uh, in Texas and Dallas. Let me get to Mayor Verge Bernaro because looking at what's going on in Michigan, Mayor, uh, you've got some, some really nice numbers today coming out of the auto industry and it shows the auto industry is back. So you've got a better economy there, but what do you need to hear from these, these candidates? Because uh, a lot uh, of people are complaining they're not hearing what they need to hear. Yes, uh, thanks for echoing the great news uh, of the recovery of the auto industry. That is Michigan, uh, GM, Ford, Chrysler, headquartered right here. Uh, my dad's a GM retiree. We make the things that make America great. You know, the Chevy Camaro is, is being made in Lansing, the uh, Motor Trend car of the year. Uh, so manufacturing is huge here. Uh, one of the things, we, of course, it's about jobs, like Mayor Rawlings said. Really, here in Michigan, it's jobs, 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 frankly. And it's manufacturing. We want to see a manufacturing initiative. We want to see a plan to sustain manufacturing. I'm tired of hearing about manufacturing leaking off, going to, to China and other places overseas. We need a plan by the government to make sure that our manufacturing sector continues to thrive. In other countries, you see the government gets behind manufacturing. Right. Here, it seems like our government is content to see it seep away. And uh, we want a plan at the state level, local level, and federal level to ensure that manufacturing not only survives, but thrives. That's a huge issue yeah, here. Yeah, I would think. And, and Mayor Stadol in, in Arkansas, looking at, at the issues that are important there, we've just heard about all kinds of, of problems that come in the Midwest where you do have a little bit of a lag there. What aren't you hearing from these candidates that you need to hear? Well, I think all we're hearing is a lot of uh, criticism that they're giving to each other, number one. And so yeah. I hope after True. Super Tuesday that we get a chance to hear some real substantive issues. You know, the issues about how we provide uh, a quality education for everyone, how mm -hmm. we take from... Uh, uh, the cradle to the college and, and to career to make sure that people have an affordable opportunity to go to school and to go to college. These are the issues. The innovation technology jobs of the future are really some things that we have not heard from, from the candidates at all. And I think, uh, I think that's where it's at. Our people want to hear about that. It's about yeah. the issue of safety in our, in our neighborhoods and certainly the decaying infrastructure system that we've got Now I need well, to whip so. around here because we only have a little bit of time, but I want to ask each of you to name a candidate on both sides. You all happen to be Democratic mayors, but I need candidates that you could live with on both the Democratic side and the Republican side. Mr. Mark Rawlings. <laughs> it's a challenge, I know. <laughs> Mayor Rawlings. Um, look, I'm um, uh, a Senator Clinton fan, and um, uh, John Kasich's been great. Uh, he's talking about bringing the country together, so those are the the two that I'm interested in getting in some serious conversation about. Okay, what about you, and Mayor I, Stadola? Uh, yes, I support uh, Secretary uh, Hillary Clinton. I've known her since before she and the president were married. Uh, I think she'll do a great job as the first woman president of the United States. If she doesn't win, uh, on the other side, in terms of the people that are left, uh, John Kasich. 
Okay, and what I think about would be you, the most Virg? Responsible uh, one. You know, you and I have spoken in the past together. Uh, I, I know you obviously want somebody who understands the Midwest. Who are your candidates on both sides here? Well, this sounds like the Me Too chorus, but I've been saying from the beginning that the only Republican, obviously, I'm for Hillary. Uh, Hillary's the way to go. On the Democratic side, she's going to make a great president. Uh, but if I couldn't have Hillary, if I had to pick a Republican, hands down, no question, John Kasich. He's the only one qualified, and he's actually done something. He's actually run something other than his mouth. It's great to have all of you. And by the way, we want to let people know we, we called a lot of Republican mayors and it was hard to get everybody. Everybody's very busy right now, but we'll be continuing this type of conversation. We want to thank Mayors Rawlings, Stadola and Bernero. Good luck to all of you in your wonderful states. We appreciate it, gentlemen. Bye.